Today I'm going to give you a demonstration of the Live Trace tool in Illustrator. I'm running Illustrator version CS5 and what I've done first is scanned a hand drawing in of mine that I'd like to turn into a vector drawing. Now one thing I will note is that on my scan what I did before I brought it in is I traced it using a sharpie and I actually did this on a fresh sheet of paper so there's no pencil sketch lines coming through I find that starting off with the most crisp sharp darkest lines that you can in your original scan is gonna uh, give you quicker and easier and better results in the end with your live trace than if you have a more sketchy pencil drawn sort of design so we've got this scan in. What I've done uh, initially is set up two layers. I've got my sketch layer and my trace layer. Now right now they both contain the exact same item, but what I'd like to do is leave a sketch layer on my artboard at all times so that any point during my process I can go back and compare my trace to my original sketch and make sure it's as close as I'd like it to be. So we'll start by turning the sketch layer off because there's no reason we need that on. Um, so you start out with your trace layer and what you're going to do is select that. You know, you may find that you have a button up here for live trace with some options here. If you don't have that, you just go to object live trace you can make it with all the default settings, but I prefer to go into your tracing options, which gives you all the settings that you can mess around with in order to get a result that you're most pleased with. Um, let's turn on the preview and see how our trace looks initially, and it looks pretty darn good. Now, one thing I will point out, I prefer to use strokes versus fills. I find that they're easier to manipulate once the trace is done. So I'm gonna turn on my strokes, and I'm going to turn off my fills. Now you'll notice I've got some gaps in my artwork here that are just showing up as outlines. The reason for that is that you have a setting right here It says your max stroke weight. Now it's telling it the max stroke weight is 10 pixels. So any line in the drawing that is coming in at bigger than 10 pixels, it's just going to do an outline. If you had your fill turned on, then it would put a fill in there, but I would prefer my entire drawing to just be done as outlines. So I'm going to turn that off and what I need to do is I just need to increase this a little bit. So it'll start to read some of these spaces as strokes as opposed to uh, just outlining them because my max stroke weight is not big enough to accommodate those. I'm going to bump it up a little more, see if we can grab a few more spots on the drawing and we got a few more in the feet down here. Now a bunch of these other settings you can come through and play with. If you mouse over them, um, wait a second, you'll get a pretty good description of what each setting does. I find the best way to learn about these is to just browse through them, play around with this with your preview on so you can see how it modifies your drawing. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on ignore white because I've got a lot of white space. There's no reason I need it to trace any of my white space. So I'm going to tell it to trace and there's my trace. Now it's still just a block image so it's not editable yet using the tools in Illustrator, um, your direct selection to change any of the curves or join any points. Uh, what we've got to do next is expand it. There might be an expand button up here or you might have to come through to your object menu and say expand. If I did decide at this point that I wanted to come through and further modify my trace I could come back into the trace option uh, window before I've expanded my drawing. Once I've expanded my drawing this is no longer available so make sure you have it where you want. We'll cancel out of that because I think that we have a pretty good trace for now. So we're going to say expand and now you can see that this is all done as uh, vector lines and that's great because now we can come through and manipulate everything we want. So We'll ungroup this a couple times to make each thing editable on its own. And what I would do at this point is come through and clean up some of these uh, small lines that I may not want there. You know, fill in where necessary, add a few strokes, etc. But we've got a pretty great result. So let's just quickly select this. We're we'll change the stroke to red, and we're we'll just compare it to our original sketch. And I think that we did quite good. We've got a few things down in the feet we need to modify, but all said and done, I think we did pretty good. So you can see that with the live trace tool, you can quickly take a hand-drawn sketch, 
uh, scanned in from Photoshop and turn it into a vector drawing without having to go through and trace every line with the pen tool. Pretty quick and easy.